Thanks for joining us and welcome back to the Watchman on the Wall podcast. Periodically, we'll bring you true stories of angelic encounters, heavenly visitations, near-death experiences, as well as modern-day prophecies that are relevant to us today. When we come back, we'll begin our next episode. Hello and welcome back to the podcast. Today we're going to have two bona fide prophets that pretty much prophesied the same thing a decade apart. Those prophets are Chris Reed and Shane Warren. Now we're going to have a clip from Shane Warren in the second part of our podcast today. But to start with, I'd like to play a clip of Chris Reed's recent interview on the program Something More. So, without further ado, here now is that interview. Welcome to Something More. I'm your host, Bob Duvall, here today with Chris Reed. Now, Chris is president and CEO of Morningstar Ministries in South Carolina. Now, Chris, you're also a prophet. And God has given you some amazing words about what's coming in America and Israel and China and Russia. And I want to hear about that. I want to get to that. But first, God's also given you words for specific individuals. Now, uh, recently there was a meeting in your church and there was a woman in the audience. Her name was Dida. And you had a very specific word over her. What was that? Yeah, so thank you for having me. Um, it was actually the Friday night session of our School of the Prophets gathering, and I was teaching that night on waiting on the Lord and what that looks like, what can come to us as we quiet our spirit and quiet the brain chatter and allow the spirit to come forth. And so the first thing I saw was I saw her and her husband on a motorcycle, and she's like, yeah, that, that's the thing that where my husband and I connect the most. Hmm. And then it just kept coming. I saw that she was restoring something. And I said, but not all of the money came in, only part of it. And she said, yeah. She said, I, I uh, live about an hour away and I bought a hotel, but I only had enough money to buy it. But the other money that was kind of promised didn't come fully through. And then she said, and then I saw uh, her husband, he doesn't have a business, but he has a hobby of restoring motorcycles. And I called out three different colors. I know blue and green, and I believe it was uh, gray. And she was blown away. And then the Holy Spirit in vision form showed me one of them has rust on the back panel. One of them, he just recently had to replace so you're the talking gas. about motorcycles. Yeah. Now. Okay. Yeah, he, he had to replace the gas line on one of them, and one of them has a reoccurring tire problem, and she was shocked. That's I said, a very specific word. <laughs> I said, she said, yeah, he has those colors. He has an additional one, a green one, and she said, None of this is public information. You can't see any of this anywhere. She said he just replaced the gas line on one. And she goes, I cannot wait to show him this. He is going to be shocked. Well, it didn't stop there because I went on saying that uh, there was a man that I saw that was visiting her husband. And I saw him coming in a black church or a black truck, excuse me. And he said, she said, he literally was at the house when I came. She said, I had to drive, you know, to come here. And this man you're speaking of was there and he has the black truck. He bought it seven days ago and he had just parked in the driveway. I then saw her husband needing a double knee replacement. And she said that he did. Uh, he, and so I prayed for healing. I saw him having a wreck on one that nearly took his life. And she said that that was true. I also saw uh, private conversations between her and her friends. I actually saw one of her neighbors that 
um, the husband and wife were having this discussion over whether they should put a pool in their backyard or whether they should build a garage for specifically a 67 Chevy. Hmm. And she's like, I'll have to check into that. But I think that's right. One of my neighbors has a 67 Chevy. Then I saw like an antique tractor that they owned, the color of it, and the names of people she had talked to that week. Well, I later interviewed her and she said, in fact, it was a 67 um, Chevy that her neighbors who just had moved in Mm. had put in there. And they did, the husband and wife disagreed over whether they should build the pool or build a garage to put the antique car in. (laughs) So all of this stuff came out and there were a few more things but it was simply, I believe, to build the faith right. for her husband's healing and for him to come back to God. I, I heard distinctly him saying, because of a bad church experience, you know, he had kind of had some hurt that was dealt with. And I heard him say specifically something. She said, he said that literally just recently. Hmm. And so anyways, it seemed like it really built the faith of the community uh, because she shared this with her neighbors and took some of them to church with her. And it's just those kind of things that I think something more. God brings us into the fullness. He reveals the secrets of the heart. And as Paul said, he said, if one comes in you and reveals this uh, among you and reveals the secrets of the heart, they'll know of a surety that God is with you. Yeah, yeah. So that really had to do with restoration in yes. more than one way. And um, tell me, because I'm just curious, whether you're in, in a video uh, interview uh, online or you're in person like that, I mean, how are you getting these words? Are, are you seeing stuff in, in your mind's eye? Are you hearing things? How, what does it work? Uh, it's both. I do hear things. Mostly I see things. I see mental pictures, images, sometimes open visions. Um, But I believe, Bob, the reason why we receive this, and God speaks the language we understand. He knows what language is familiar to you. He knows what language is familiar to me. Things that we, he can relate to us uniquely through. Just like he told the woman at the well, Remember, he started off as Jesus the evangelist, and he said, I'll give you a drink that that you'll never thirst again. And then Jesus the evangelist became Jesus the prophet, and he said, go call your husband. She said, I have no husband. He said, you're right, you've had five, and the one you're with is not your husband. And she was shocked. Then Jesus the prophet became Jesus the Messiah. Yeah, Chris, we, we need to take a quick break right here. But when we come back, we want to find out what Chris has seen for the United States of America. You don't want to miss this. Just a moment. Welcome back to something more. Bob Duvall here with Chris Reed. And Chris, I want to jump right in because it, it's so interesting to hear, you know, what's what's in store for America. And real quickly, before I do that, um, you've had just, I'm sure, many words, but I want to mention a couple that uh, specific ones that came to pass back in August of 2020. God showed you about a shooting at the White House. Two days later, there was a shooting. Trump was president, and, and the Secret Service had to, to shoot this guy right outside the White House who was a threat, and they hustled uh, President Trump out of the, you know, the briefing room and everything. Um, uh, but uh, another one uh, that happened was that in late 2022, in December 2022, God showed you about these boxes having to do with President Biden and and this secret information, if you will, which none of that was public knowledge at that point. And in January of 2023, that all came out, that all came to pass. So uh, let's jump in now to a real specific, just an amazing dream that you had early in 2022, I think it was March of 2022, where God showed you some specific, very, very specific things coming for America. Um, so you, you had this dream. You saw a man in a black suit. And what was what was he holding? What was he doing? Yeah, he was holding a fifty dollar bill. And I believe in light of, you know, interpreting the dream that he was showing uh, by holding the bill, the monetary value 
of the 50 United States. Mm. And, it, and in this dream, three stages, he tore the $50 bill in three stages. And each time he tore the $50 bill, someone came and gave me headlines that were like newspaper headlines. Now, the first thing he did was he tore off about a third yep. of that bill. And uh, there was something about the dollar the yep. headline about the dollar, what did you see on that? The headline was, the dollar drops 30% in value, and a subtitle, Middle East oil strikes deal with China instead of the U.S. Wow. Now, I think it's interesting how he, he tore off a third of the bill, and, the, and, you know, and it ties right in with the dollar dropping 30%. Yeah. Uh, so there was also something about riots, civil unrest. Mm -hmm. What did you see with that? Yeah, so I, I saw the, the $50 bill uh, torn again, and it was that people were really uh, disturbed and troubled by some of the economic situations and strain that they were put in because of a headline that was given to me, which said, the perfect storm inflation reaches a new high. Then the next uh, headline was, food shortage crisis as wheat and bread imports are at a stalemate. And then the next headline, because of that one said riots and civil unrest as citizens demand entitlement checks. Mm. And so it seemed like this was a scenario set in stages. And Bob, when I had this dream, uh, we, we weren't experiencing in March of 2022, the inflation right. and the talks of China and the Middle East making deals brokering deals with oil, you know, instead of with the United States and moving away from the petrodollar and trying to form almost a league of other nations of China and Russia and mm -hmm. Iran. Now, the, the second time, the first time he tore like a third off, and the second time he tore what was left in half. And I find it very interesting. Two of the headlines you saw after that, one was Israelis and the Palestinians reach a two-state solution. Mm -hmm. I, th I thought that was very interesting how he, he tore it in half. But the second headline you saw had to do with a major earthquake going to hit the middle of the United States. Yeah. So when he tore the $50 bill the second time in half, an earthquake happened under my feet. And another person walked up and handed me a headline which read, Israeli and Palestinian two-state solution reached. And then another headline was handed to me, which said, major earthquake hits the middle of the U.S. Mm. So it seemed like when America went along with dividing Israel, God allowed an earthquake to literally come right down the middle or dividing the United States. I didn't see the full extent of that, but I saw an earthquake hit the center of the U.S. And it was a response of God uh, to America supporting a two-state solution. Mm. Okay, and then the third time he tore this bill, he tore it in what was left into a bunch of little pieces. Now, I want to go back to something you said earlier, that the $50 bill was relating to 50 states. So he's tearing all these pieces. And I want to read this one headline you saw. America in pieces. More states seceded from the nation in rebellion to the federal government. Yeah. So what, what else did you see at that point? I, I felt like as a result of that last tearing, something caused such a division among the states. I kind of feel like it's going, this is what I strongly believe. Something coming across the southern border will be so evil. Most of those people are just trying to find a better life. We get that. But there will be something found out that will literally cause an outrage of the American people that they won't want to be under the federal government as is. And it's going to require a great reform economically socially to our nation, and God's going to shake everything that can be shaken. So all that's left is that which is unshakable. Yeah, and you saw another headline at that point about the military taking control. But uh, let's jump ahead to uh, this, this man in the black suit. He pulls out a $1 bill, 
But it doesn't look like a normal $1 bill. What does it look like? It looked like a $1 bill, but it, it was like a cell phone. It was like a $1 bill, and I knew it was a cell phone. And I remember the last headline that was given to me said, New Currency for a Renewed Nation. And then simplicity restored as Americans grow their own food again. Hmm. So it was like after the shaking that goes on for, you know, an unstated amount of time, it will bring about a united nation again, but a new currency as well. Late in 2022, uh, you took the last three months of the year to do prayer and fasting. And that's not unusual for you. That's, that's more of a pattern. But during that time, God showed you a whole bunch of things that were coming in. And of course, we don't have time to talk about most of them, but I want to hit on just a few. Mm -hmm. Now, you saw something about a about the China Sea conflict. Yeah. What did you see there? So I, I said that I saw a conflict in the South China Sea um, when China would uh, try to militarily uh, attack Taiwan and that to pray for the U.S. Navy because the U.S. Navy could be right in the middle of it and affected by it as well. But I had been prophesying that and seeing that for three or four years and sharing that, but I believed it was important to share this year because I feel like we're getting close to that. Yeah, okay. Also dealing with China, something about an internal revolution. What did mm -hmm. you see there? So on October the 1st, 2022, I saw an internal revolution happening in China. And what the Lord said to me was the below ground church was about to see above ground results. Mm. And what he said was, is, is that so much of the saber rattling, when a nation is in decline or having internal turmoil, they usually try to start a war to distract off the internal domestic dissatisfaction. Mm. And not only did the Lord show me that, but he said, this is exactly why so much was allowed to be released from there a few years ago. And it's because they were trying to keep in people indoors from rioting then. Mm. And the Lord showed me there was an internal revolution bubbling in China. That was October the 1st. On Thanksgiving Day, the terrible tragedy where people were welded shut because of the zero COVID policy in their houses and apartments and a fire caught and literally in 15 provinces of China, people were rioting and it was all over the news mm. at the end of November. And the Lord was showing me this is the beginning. Literally less than two months prior to that, he told me the internal revolution was coming. I shared it publicly, but he said, when Xi Jinping falls, you'll see that's the sign of an internal revolution and that the Communist Party will lose power and that we will see China devolve into uh, states or separated sections, you might say, with varying degrees of democracy. Democracy coming to China, that'd be so amazing. Uh, Vladimir Putin, yeah. what did you see with him? I don't believe uh, Vladimir Putin has much time left. I believe there were some things that he did turning to uh, the occult for answers. And I think he has made a move that I have been prophesying since March of, or February of 2022 that he will not live much longer. Hmm. Okay, what about Israel and Iran? What did you see there? I saw Israel striking a nuclear uh, development facility in Iran that it would be sudden and quick because Israel uh, felt like they needed to stop the progression of Iran developing a nuclear weapon. And so while they're in an internal turmoil in Israel, the Israeli military would would strike Iran and let them know, you know, mm. this is not OK. We'll be right back with part two of our podcast with Shane Warren right after this. Do you want to make a podcast? Spotify has got a platform to let you make one super easy, then distribute it everywhere and even earn money. It's all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. So no matter what your setup is like, you can start recording and creating today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and everywhere podcasts are heard. 
Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, it's totally free with no catch. The Watchman on the Wall podcast has been using Spotify for Podcasters for the last four years, and we highly recommend it. So give it a try and download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hello again, this is The Watchman. Please join us each week for an exciting and inspirational podcast dealing with angel encounters, heavenly visitations, near-death experiences, as well as modern-day prophecies that are relevant to us today. So tune in each week and share it with your friends. After all, they could use a little inspiration in their life, too. That's the Watchman on the Wall podcast, and now you can find us on YouTube. Welcome back to part two of our podcast. Shane Warren had a vision, and this vision was last decade, some 10 years ago. And I want you to pay special attention to some of the things he said, because it correlates well with what Chris Reed just said, especially about the falling dollar, food shortages, Israeli-Palestinian two-state solution, an earthquake, and riots in the streets. So here now is Shane Warren. A few months later, I was sitting in my house, and uh, and I have a big screen in, in my house, and it, this was in our, our the house that we had previous to the one we have now, and there's a big screen and a big cutout section of our cabinets, and I'm watching this. Everybody's asleep. I'm basically, I'm watching Fox News is what I'm watching. And in just in just a moment, it was like the whole television screen switched right before my eyes. Now, again, you have to keep in mind, I'm awake. I've never had an open vision like this before. I don't know what this is. I think I'm watching 9-11 unfold again. And so while I'm sitting there, the whole television screen switches. And this news anchor comes on and he says, ladies and gentlemen, the oddest thing is happening. Normally, hurricanes form in, over the ocean, over water, and then they come upon uh, uh, on shore. He said, but there is a hurricane that has formed over America. And while he was talking, it went to a satellite image. I saw literally from north to south, from east to west, uh, the, the side of a hurricane, a storm that was over America. The eye of the storm was moving right down the center of America. The, the news anchor said, this is the oddest storm, this hurricane. This is unbelievable. He's describing this thing. And then he says, ladies and gentlemen, we have, we have a correspondent who is on the ground in the eye of the storm. Immediately the, the television goes to this correspondent and like you would see with any other you know, news report in a hurricane, this man's kind of being beaten and tossed with the wind and there's, you can see the debris just swirling around his, his body. And he's saying, you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is an unusual storm. This isn't like any storm that I've ever reported on. And he reaches down on the ground and he picks up a handful of $1 bills. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, he said, this is a storm of dollar bills. Well, when he said that, immediately it came back to the news anchor. And now, again, keep in mind, I'm awake. I'm thinking this is actually happening, right? I, I, it hasn't dawned on me that this is a vision. I think this is the real deal and this is actually happening. And so it comes back to the news anchor and, it, and the news anchor says, uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's been another tragedy that has hit America we have just experienced a major earthquake on the New Madrid fault line. And immediately I started seeing pictures of devastation all over the New Madrid fault line. I saw cities that were flooded. I saw cities that were destroyed. I saw people walking around in the streets, stumbling around in the smoke and in the debris. Uh, they looked like they were dazed. People were crying out for help. And, uh, and while I was watching this, division it was like the all of the united states was just split in half while i was watching this behind my right ear 
I was sitting on the couch and behind my right ear I heard a booming voice which I believe to be the voice of the Lord that said these words they divided my land now I will divide their land I knew immediately that God was speaking about Joel chapter 3 where God prophesies through the prophet Joel about the parting of the land of Israel and judgment coming to the nations and God said I will re reward you swiftly quickly for what you've done to my land and so I felt like this earthquake and I, you know as people say was it a literal earthquake was it a spiritual earthquake was it a, a, a dividing of the nation I can't say all I can tell you is what I saw I can tell you that I saw devastation I continued to watch the television and by this time you know I'm sitting on the edge of my seat I'm thinking, oh my God, what am I going to do? Do I go wake up my family? Do I call people? How am I going to open the church? What's the church going to do? I'm th I'm a thousand, come on, y'all know what I'm talking about. A thousand thoughts are going through your mind in just a flash. And then all of a sudden, I see more pictures going on television. People are rioting in the streets. I see riots all over America. I see cities on fire and blazing. I see people riding in the streets, looting buildings, things of that nature. And one of the things that sticks out to me more than anything else in this vision that I've never forgotten is I saw people holding a signs, big signs, and on the signs it said, I want my entitlements. And I knew that this had something to do with the economy. When I saw these signs, I want my entitlements, immediately I was sucked up uh, from where I was right then and I was just in a flash I was sitting in a room in the Middle East now you say how do you know it was the Middle East because I've been to the Middle East several times and the Middle East has a feel to it anybody that's been to Israel or that part of the world knows that the Middle East just has a feel that Mediterranean feel that no other place in the world has I knew I was in the Middle East and uh, I was sitting in a room and there was a long table and there were heads of nations around these tables. I can tell you who was there. China was there, India was there, Indonesia was there, Syria was there, Turkey was there, Iran was there, uh, uh, just uh, Saudi Arabia was there, Russia was there. I mean, I could just go on and on. Egypt was sitting around the table. All of these nations were sitting around this long table and they were having a discussion and the discussion was how to destroy America. And they went around the table in this discussion and, uh, you know, they tossed several ideas. And finally, one of the people stood up, uh, which I, I could tell you the nation that stood up, but I want to hold that for a later time because the Lord hasn't released me to say this. Uh, only to my church has he released me to, to share that. But this nation stood up, leader stood up and said, I can tell you how we're going to do it. The American dollar is in trouble. There is nothing holding stability to the American dollar except one thing. He said, here's what it is. All of us have to purchase dollars. It is the world currency. We have to purchase dollars to buy oil. And he said, what we're going to do is we're going to buy and sell oil with a different currency other than the American dollar. And when you take that one thing out of that equation, the American dollar will collapse. They're having this discussion. And I'm sitting here like a third party listening to this. And I'm thinking, what in the world am I hearing? And one guy, they started having a discussion, okay, what currency are we going to use? And they went around the table and nobody could come to an agreement of a currency. And finally, one of them said, I know what we'll do. We can all agree that we will trade oil for gold. Will everybody agree to that? And they said, yes, we will agree to that. And I knew immediately when I heard that, I immediately hit my body. I was sitting back on my couch. I came to. I was awake. I was shaking. I couldn't believe what I'd just seen. I knew God was showing me something that was about to happen. The Lord showed me some other things while I was in that about the Middle East. I saw the entire Middle East pushing America out of the Middle East. Hello again, this is The Watchman. Please join us on our new video channel called Encounters from Beyond the Veil. It's the same exciting content as our audio podcast, but in a shorter, but yet a video format. Also, please subscribe so you won't miss any of our episodes. 
That's Encounters from Beyond the Veil, exclusively found on YouTube. Well, thanks again for listening. And if you enjoyed this episode, please share it with your friends. Any comments or suggestions you may have, you can send to the Watchman on the Wall 2020 at gmail.com. We encourage you to subscribe so you'll always be notified of our future episodes. Well, thanks again, and we'll see you next time on the Watchman on the Wall podcast.